Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my 2018 fragrance collection. Um, I have um, 71 fragrances plus 11 knockoff fragrances plus 5 um, uh, body sprays to show you. So I have a total of 87 fragrances to show you in this video. So I'm not going to be um, going through a lot of detail, hardly any detail whatsoever because this video, I only have like 42 minutes on my memory and I need to make sure this video gets all done in one shot. Um, some of the fragrances don't have lids because those are fragrances that I bought when I worked at Kohl's or um, ones that I bought or, or ones that I bought when I worked at Dillard's that were testers. So that's why they won't have lids. But okay, now we're going to go ahead and get into it. This is in no particular order. Um, but yeah, um, let's just go ahead and get it started. The first two I'm going to show you though are going to probably be the oldest ones in my collection. So that I did kind of have set up. So let's go ahead and go for it. Alright, so the first one that I have is by Prince Machabelli. This is the Windsong fragrance. This is a very old, old fragrance. A lot of older people wear this. My grandma used to wear this, and I wore this in high school. But I do like the, the way it smells. My husband doesn't like it because he says it's really strong. But this is Windsong by Prince Machabelli. The next one that I have is from Avon, and this one is Rare Pearls. This is the one that I'm currently wearing today. This is Rare Pearls. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get into the other ones now. Let's go. So this next fragrance was a tester, and I got this at Kohl's. This was the, um, this is the Ed Hart, or Eddie Hart, I can't talk. This is the Ed Hardy Villain fragrance. And I love the packaging on that. I love the mermaid. And one of the notes, the dry down notes is Cranberry, one of them. It's another reason why I wanted that because that's my favorite dessert of all time. Okay, so another one that I got is from, these two are actually from Mariah Carey. This one is called Dreams. This one's really pretty. This one's a perfect one for fall. That's when I wear it. And then one of her other ones that I really enjoy. This is from the Lollipop Bling Collection. This is Vision of Love. And I love this fragrance. Um, okay, so the next one that I have is from <laughs> Nicole Polizzi. It's her first one that she ever made. This is the Snooky. So, and this is the big bottle. This is what I wear for spring and summertime. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to show you, I have a small one of and a big size one of. The big one I got because I bought it when they were um, clearing out some of the perfumes at Kohl's. So this is the small Britney Spears um, Midnight Fantasy. As well as, this is the one that I bought. The 3.4 ounce of Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy. So I have two of these and I love this fragrance. My husband absolutely loves this one on me. If you guys are looking for something that dupes that, you guys should check out Bath & Body Works uh, Dark Kiss. That dupes it really well. So this next one that I have is her self-titled um, perfume. This is the first one she ever made. This is Selena Gomez. Love it. And then this is another one she had. I'm not sure which one this is, but this is Selena Gomez VMOR. Again, this one doesn't have the top because this was a purchase of a tester bottle. And it is full. <laughs> okay, so the next one, the next two that I have, actually three, correction, are all from Britney Spears. This is also another tester bottle that I bought from Kohl's. This is Britney Spears' um, Circus Fantasy, and this is also full, but it doesn't have a lid. And then this is her small, regular Fantasy, and this one's really nice. I'm almost done with this one. I don't know if you can see where the liquid's at on it. But yeah, I love this one. And then another one of hers that I'm almost done with, I'll probably be done with it the next time I use it, is the Believe. This is probably one of my favorite ones from her. I know not a lot of people like this one, but I absolutely love it. And you can tell how much I've used it. And then I do have the lotion to go with it too. So as soon as this is done, I already have it um, pulled up on eBay as a, a watch item that I'm going to buy another one. I'm going to buy the 3.4 ounce. Okay, <clears throat> so the next one that I have, actually here, let me see, let me pull these out. Okay, we're going to pull these out in a set, um, I guess from no particular order to what I can pull out in sets. 
I'm such a hypocrite. Anyway, the next three are from um, the Versace line. Um, so, yeah, these are going to be the next three fragrances that you see. So this one is Versace Versus. This one's a very nice one. A guy could pull this off too. This is like a, a nice unisex fragrance. I haven't used a lot of it because as you can tell, I have a lot of fragrances. Another one by um, that line is Versace Red Jeans. And I haven't used a whole lot of this one either, but I have a lot to get through. I've been trying. And then this other one that I got here was a, um, was a, gr uh, a gratis item that I got from... Um, the Versace distributor for Dillard's. So um, I've been wanting this fragrance for a while. It doesn't have a lid, but this is the Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. And I love this bottle. The smell is amazing. And I really want to get the um, crystal to go on top of it, but I can't find it, just the um, lid itself. But this is full. And I'm very nice. I'm very happy to have this. Okay. All right, so another item that I got was, this is my first and only Giorgio Armani fragrance that I have. This is um, Imperial Diamonds. This was another purchase that I, um, this was another fragrance that I purchased from Kohl's when they were clearing out all their tester um, things to get rid of them to get some new fragrances. This was another one of my purchases. And I really enjoy this fragrance. I've used it a little bit. It's like halfway full. But I really enjoy this one. So this is Giorgio Armani Imperial Diamond. Um, this next one here is by Encanto. This is Heaven. I don't know if you can read that very well. Yeah, it's kind of hard to read, but this is the Encanto Heaven. So, I don't know if you can read it backwards, but it says Encanto there. Barely can tell. And then up here it says Heaven. It's really pretty and I love the bottle. Okay, the next one that I have is by True Religion. This is their their um, self-titled True Religion fragrance, and I love the bottle. I've used a lot of it. It's a nice citrus scent. The next one that I have is uh, Pure DKNY. Again, this was a purchase through Kohl's. They were getting rid of their tester one, so I purchased this one. I've been wanting this one for a while. This is a nice everyday fragrance for spring and summer, but I mean, I think you could pull it off whenever you want, so I think that's what I'm going to start doing now on too, is I'm going to change the way up I use my fragrances. I'm going to use them whenever the hell I want to now, so. Otherwise, I'll never get through them. <laughs> okay, so another one that I have, I have doubles of. This is um, Jennifer Lopez's Glowing, and this is the only one by her that I have. This is pretty much the only one that I like. And I love this bottle. This is the 2.5 ounce bottle, so it's a big one. And then I got this one, again, from um, Kohl's for doing getting a bunch of credits. They gave me um, another, per uh, another perfume, and I picked this one out. So I have two of the glowing. One is almost used up. One is full. I'm really happy. That's one of my, my favorite fragrances for fall time. <laughs> Okay, this is a celebrity fragrance. This is the only one that I have from them, again, because I purchased it through Kohl's when they were um, marking down or getting rid of their things. I've said this multiple times. Sorry, guys, but yeah. This is You and I by One Direction. Um, the bottle's a bit tacky, not gonna lie. But if you pull this off, you get a ring with it, kind of like Vera Wang does her princess line and stuff like that. Um, I'm not a big fan of the bottle. I do, however, really like the fragrance. I just wish it lasted longer. Okay, so the next one is by Rihanna. This is Rebel Fleur. Now, I've used this a little bit. Not all of this is my using. This is a tester. Was a tester from Kohl's. But I do really like this. Okay, so another one that I got was this is the um, Paris Hilton Heiress perfume. And I absolutely love this one. I love the bottle. And my mother-in-law bought me the full-size fragrance mist in this, the full-size body spray at Walmart. So I do have this and I have this, and I'm really happy to have them both. I really love the smell. This smells like bubble gum. If you guys like the smell of bubble gum, you'll like this one a lot. But if you don't like it, then I don't suggest you purchase this. But yes, this is Eris by Paris Hilton, and I do love this scent.
Another one by Paris Hilton is the Paris Hilton in Tokyo. I think that's really cute packaging, and it's got her, and it says in Tokyo. It's got like the little Japanese tree blossoms in the background. I think that's way cute. This is a small bottle too. It's I haven't gone through a whole lot of it, but yeah. And then this is Paris Hilton's Can Can. This is a really nice sweet fragrance. If you like sweet fragrances, you'll like this one. If you don't like sweet, if you don't like sweet fragrances, you might want to steer clear of this guy. Okay, so this fragrance that I, this is another fragrance that I bought through Kohl's a long time ago. This is the one that I wear on the first day of spring. This is Flirt Flowerific. I love this one, and I'm almost done with it. I'm sad about that, but I'm almost done with this one. And I absolutely love this way it smells. This smells amazing, and it stays with you for a long time. So if you guys can still find this, pick it up. You can find it on eBay if you can't find it in the store. It's a good fragrance, though. I love it. So another one that I got is his first fragrance. I haven't got anything else from him, but this is Justin Bieber's um, Someday, I believe. Yeah, this is Someday. Okay. Then this one is Bliss. This is just like a nice um, fruity, like fruity fragrance that you can use in spring and summertime. It's got cucumber in it and stuff like that. It smells really nice and stays on your body pretty well too. But this is Bliss. Okay, the next one I have is from um, Elizabeth Taylor. This is Violet Eyes. <laughs> Another one I have is from the Rick Band, or Rick Band, <laughs> Rock Band, Kiss. And this is just Kiss Her. The fragrance color has changed in it. Because I've had this for a long time. But I keep most of their fragrances that I get in their boxes and stuff like that. Unless I get them with sets. So this scent still smells really good. Like the first day I bought it. And it will stay with you too for like 6 to 7 hours. So it's a really nice lasting fragrance. Highly recommend that. Got that on eBay too. And this next one that I got is by... Uh, who is this by? Just Cavalli. I think Robert Cavalli or something. It's Just Cavalli for her. And this is a nice one, too, for spring and summer. That's why this is down here. But again, I'm going to change up how I use my fragrances. I have a lot still. So, yeah. All right. So this next one, next two that I have are body sprays. Um, this is from, this is Axe Anarchy. And I use this when I go to the dentist. I'm not a big fan of it. I mean, it smells pretty, but it doesn't last at all. So... But it came with a set with two of them, so I have two of them. One's, one's full, one's almost done. And I use this for the dentist. Lovely, right? Okay, so the next fragrance that I have is, again, two of them. I'm almost done with one, and then I have a full bottle still sealed. And the next, and, and yeah, I have a full bottle still sealed in its packaging. This is You Are by Usher Raymond. Here, let me take this out. I don't know why I didn't take this out. Sorry, guys. But I wore this yesterday at work, and I love this. As you can tell, I'm almost done with this one. This bottle is so pretty. It's got, like, an iridescent effect on it. I don't think you can see it on camera. Maybe a little bit. There you go. But it is so pretty. And I got this at um, Big Lots for $6. So, and I found, and they, they had another one, too. So I picked up both of them. They said $12, but they rang it up with $6. I'm like, I'm going to get the other one. So this is the one that has not been opened yet. So I have both of these. And I'm really happy to have both of those fragrances because I adore them. Okay, so the next fragrance that I have is um, Dior. This is Chris, uh, by Christian Dior. This is Dior, Dior. And I love this fragrance. It's such a <clears throat> an, an elegant, elegant fragrance. When I had my first interview with Dillard's, this was the one I was actually wearing. So, I think this gave me a little bit of luck. So, this is Dior by Christian Dior. Okay, so the next fragrance is a set. I'm not pulling it out, but you'll see it. Um, this is Vera Wang's Princess. I got this at Kohl's. It's got the lotion, it's got the shower gel, and it's got, I think, a one ounce. Let me see. Yeah, it's a one ounce of the perfume. 
And this was on sale for $22.50. But I got it for less than that because I had my discounts and stuff. So, But I've been wanting this fragrance for a while. Okay, so the next thing that I have is a lotion and a perfume to show you. This is Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. Everybody's had this before. And then this is a little bottle for it. Juicy Couture's the Viva La Juicy. Love the scent. Then another one I have from Juicy Couture is the Couture Couture by Juicy Couture. This is a lotion. And this is the perfume for it. I use this a lot, as you could tell. I'm almost done with it. This is a really nice fragrance, too. It's a very sophisticated fragrance. This would probably be another one I would buy only full size. Okay, so one fragrance that I have, and the only one that I have from Hollister, is called SoCal. This is SoCal by Hollister. And I love this fragrance. It smells really, really nice. It's a really nice spring and summer scent. Okay. So the next two that I have are from Elizabeth Arden. This one is the Elizabeth Arden's Green Tea. And then this is the Elizabeth Arden's um, Sunflowers. And I love sunflowers. This is a fragrance that once you spray this on, it will stay with you all day. There's really no need to reapply this. It'll stay with you all day. And this is a beautiful fragrance for spring and summer. But if I'm feeling like I want to have Elizabeth Arden sunflowers, I'll wear it, I'll wear it whenever I want to. Yeah. Oh, as I make a mess here. That fragrance is falling over. Okay. So another set that I got from Kohl's is the Pink Sugar Aqualina set. It's got a lot of stuff in it. It's got the perfume, the um, glossy shower gel, it's got the um, roll-on perfume spray, like, and it's got a body lotion. So, yep, I have the um, actual pink sugar now, and I haven't used it yet. For various reasons. I have so much stuff to get through. Alright, so another fragrance that I got um, is... One of my my fragrances that are more higher end fragrances. This is the um, Terry Mugler's Angel Muse, and this is the 1.7 ounce. I love this one. Not a lot of people like this, but I really do. So if you guys are in a department store and they sell the Terry Mugler um, Angel Muse line or Angel, you should check them out. See if you like any of them. This has got notes I think of praline. I want to say. Um, Hazelnut, and I think chocolate too. I think that's another reason why I like it. My husband loves this fragrance, so that's pretty much the whole reason why I bought it, because my husband loves this. So definitely give this a smell if you're in a department store that carries the Terry Mugler line. Oh, stuff is so good. Okay, so the next fragrance that I got, I already went through the shower gel, and I still have the fragrance. This is in the set. You cannot buy this anywhere. You have to buy this online. They do sell it as a set still, and they do sell it with the perfume by itself. So if you're just interested in the perfume, you can get it on eBay. That's where I get a lot of my fragrances. This is the um, Immortal Twilight Perfume. And it's really cute box. I thought the box was really cute, so I kept it. But this is Immortal. This is the Twilight Fragrance. I think it's really cute. There's Kristen Stewart and Rob Pattinson there being all cute as Bella and Edward. Okay. Um, okay, let's see here. Now, this fragrance I bought a while ago. This was on um, eBay, too. This was a blind buy, but I fell in love with it. This was actually um, my wedding, me and my um, husband's wedding fragrance. This is um, Abercrombie & Fitch's 8 fragrance. I love this. It smells amazing. Oh, that's what it reminds me of the day that we got married. Love this. Okay. So. The next thing I have to show you here is the Betsy Johnson Tutu Perfume. Now I'm getting into my higher end perfumes. I don't have a lot of them, but now that I'm working at Dillard's, I will. So this is the Betsy Johnson uh, Tutu Perfume. 
So these are little like little balls and stuff like that, little like spray on travel like things. I have sets. This is the only one that I have right now from um, Taylor Swift. This is Incredible Things. This is from Taylor Swift. And then this is the thing that I have two sets of. You'll see the sets shortly. This is Vince Camuto's Chow by Vince Camuto. I love this fragrance. It's so pretty. Then I also have the YSL Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. I have a set in that too, you'll see shortly. Okay. All right, so what am I get into next? Okay, I think what we'll do is I'll get into the more higher end stuff so you can see them. Okay, so the next fragrance that I have is by um, YSL again. This is Mon Paris, and I love this fragrance. It's such a pretty fragrance. This was a gratis for me too, so this was a um, a tester, but I got this for gratis, so. Then I have, this is the Michael Kors one. This is the regular, I think, Michael Kors. This one I got through um, Kohl's when I um, got a bunch of credits for them. They let me pick out a fragrance, and this is the one that I chose. So this was my actual first, first, first high-end fragrance was this one. Okay. So now this is the um, set for Black Opium I'm going to show you guys. But it doesn't have the little thing because I took it out. So this is the full-size um what is it? Parfum spray, and then this is the body lotion. And I think the body lotion has like um some like little pink glitter in them, which is really cute. And I like the box too for this one too. I think it's kind of classy. It's a nice box. So I kept it. The next set that I have is the Vince Camuto's Chow. I love the box too. That's it. That's the full size. This is the um, 3.4 um, Eau de Parfum spray in it. And then this is the lotion. The lotion is a 5 full ounce. Yes. 5 full ounce on the lotion by Vince Camuto's Chow. And then this is what the front of the box looks like. And I'm a big sucker for pink. I love pink. And I love the box. Okay. I showed those already. Okay, so then this is another, these other three here that I'm going to show you are also um, fragrances that I got for gratis. This is Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. And these are all testers too. We only sell, test. we only give um, associates testers. We don't sell live product. So, yep. And I love this one by Marc Jacobs. <clears throat> And this other one that I got here is Prada Candy. Love this. It's really pretty. A definite caramel scent. Okay. And this last one that I have um, by Dillard's is another one. But I, have, I don't have any other from this line yet. But I will be getting more if I get a chance. This is my first and only Chanel in my fragrance. I mean, in my fragrance collection. This is Gabrielle. Chanel by Gabrielle. Yeah. Gabrielle by Chanel. And I love this. I'm sorry, guys. I keep saying I love this on all my fragrances. Sorry, I do, though. But this one is an absolutely amazing fragrance. So if you guys like Chanel and haven't got a chance to um, smell this yet, I seriously think that you should smell Gabrielle. Okay. All right. So I'm almost done. But we'll see. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> I've got a whole plethora going on down here of all these fragrances. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some Katy, uh, Katy Perry ones that I have. So, and I love Katy Perry's packaging on things. So the first one I have from Katy Perry is Killer Queen. This is the lotion. I'm almost done with the lotion. I had a small, a small one too with the set. It came with the lotion, the small like little travel size of it, and the full one here. So this is Killer Queen, Katy Perry love this one too it's really pretty I can't stop saying that I know guys I'm sorry if I'm annoying you sorry okay 
And then we've got Katy Perry's packaging. Um, on These fragrances are probably her best packaging that I think that she's ever done just because I'm a big sucker for them and I have two of them. So this is Katy Perry's Purr. I love the packaging for this. And then this one is Katy Perry's Meow. And I love that one too. It's really cute. Alright, so the next one I'm going to show you guys is a fragrance by Holly Berry. I'm not a big, huge, I don't really like this fragrance very much. I'm just trying to get through it. This is Closer by Holly Berry, the lotion. And the, um, the, they say it's a body spray, but it's a perfume. You can't see it says body spray on there. I haven't used, I've used as much, a little while of it. <clears throat> like over half, but yeah. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of that one. Ones that I'm not particularly a big fan of, I tend to use those at night for night fragrances. Alright, so this one is Lucky You by Lucky Brand. And I love this one. Okay. Uh, I have a couple, like, vampire-inspired fragrances now, too. I have three of them, actually. This first one is by Essence. This is called Vampire's Love, and I love the bottle. Very pretty. Then the next two are by, um, I think they're Body Fantasies. Okay, so this is the original Vampire. And I've used a lot of that Vampire. I don't know if you can see that, but I've used a lot of this guy. And then this is another flanker. This is um, Vampire Midnight. I've used a lot of that one too, but I absolutely love both of these. So if you guys can find them, I highly recommend trying them out. This one's awesome. This one is really good too, but I always like this one better. This one smells like um, Bath and Body Works uh, Twilight Woods. And if you like Twilight Woods, you'll love this. Okay. So it looks like, okay, the last, almost the last part of the ones that I'm going to show you are going to be um, from Victoria's Secret. But I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to show you some from, um, I have body sprays and I still haven't gotten to my knockoffs yet. So I'm sorry. This video is going to be a little bit longer than I thought. So I'm going to pause it and get back with those. Sorry, guys. Oh, oh it still hasn't paused. Okay, I'll be back. All right, welcome back, guys. I was able to get the um, perfumes, the knockoffs, ready to go. Okay, so the perf the first one I'm going to show you is the knockoff for um, Light Blue. And this smells exactly identical to Light Blue because I'm around Light Blue all the time, and I've smelled it several times. But I would after this, I definitely want to buy Light Blue. This is Sky Blue. Yeah, Blue Sky. Blue Sky and this is supposed to impersonate um, the Light Blue for Dolce & Gabbana. And it does really, really good. So if you guys haven't bought the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue yet, if you find this, sky, or Blue Sky, and it's by um, Diamond Collection, I highly recommend this because this is almost spot on to Light Blue. Yeah, it doesn't get any closer to, to Light Blue than this one. Okay, another one that I bought a while ago, and I've been wanting the full-size fragrance and the real one ever since, this is the um, Banbury. They're impersonating um, the Burberry Weekend. This is what the bottle looks like. And because of this fragrance, I really want to get the actual Burberry Weekend. Again, this is on my watch list on eBay. So I'll be getting that eventually. So this is the, um, this is called Precious. This is impersonating the um, Vera Wang's Pres or Princess. Smells exactly the same, just it la this one lasts a lot longer. So this next one here is um, impersonating um, Donna, or no, impersonating Intimately Beckham. This is called Dream Woman. And this is a really nice fragrance. Really pretty. It's a really nice night fragrance or going out fragrance. And this will stay with you for a while too. So you want one that's if you want one that's gonna last, this is it. Okay, so the next one that I have is impersonating Issy Miyake um, Ludi Izzy. This is called Odisha, and this is by uh, Preferred Fragrance. So, yep, that's an amazing fragrance. 
Another one here is um, SJP NYC. This is in um, Persony SJP NYC. So Jer her God, I can't talk. Sarah Jessica Parker. And this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. It smells like strawberries. It's an amazing fragrance. So the next one is a classic. This one is, um, if you can tell what this is, I'm sure you know what it's trying to mimic. This is trying to mimic the uh, DKNY Be Delicious. So this is a really nice one. I like this one a lot because of the bottle and the fragrance is amazing. It smells just like Be Delicious. So this is a nice one. This is by um, Diamond Collection as well. So this is another one by Preferred Fragrance. And this is... Um, in Trying to impersonate DKNY's Be Delicious Fresh Blossom. And I like this one a lot because it's got like that mirror look on the top. I think that's really cute. But this is supposed to be their version of DKNY Fresh Blossom. So the next one is trying to impersonate um, Viva La Juicy. This is La Vida Loca. And this is by Preferred Fragrance as well. So the next one is supposed to be um, impersonating um, C CK Into You by Calvin Klein. This is called Before You, and this is by the Diamond Collection. And the last one that I have is the one that I actually bought, the um, official one. This is supposed to be mimicking, it's called Sweet Angel. It's supposed to be mimicking um, Pink Sugar by Aquilina. And this smells absolutely the same as Aqualina, so if you can't afford to buy Aqualina, but you want something that smells like it, you want to get yourself the, um, this is Sweet Angel. I think it's by either Preferred Fragrance or the Diamond Collection, but this is what the bottle looks like, so this is the one you want to get. And the color has changed because I've had this a long time in my collection. Okay, so now I have five body sprays, and we'll get into the um, Victoria's Secrets. I have to hurry because this is almost, okay. So the first one is the Calgon Moon, Moon, Petal, Moon Petal Must. This is what I use in um, at nighttime. Lotion, fragrance mist. I love this. I would highly recommend this to anybody. Then I have the Sexiest Fantasies on the Prowl. If you guys liked the pink version of, what was it? Fresh and Clean, this is exactly like it. Just this one lasts a lot longer than um, the pink Fresh and Clean. So I would definitely look into this. Sexy's Fantasies on the Prowl, Lotion and Fragrance Mist. The next one is Body Fantasies Sparkling Pink Grapefruit. Um, Body Fantasies Cotton Candy. This is older packaging, but it is a fragrance that everybody loves and reminds them of their childhood. I still have the older thing too, so if I wanted to transfer bottles for the older one, I, I could do that. And then I also have the Body Fantasies Red Velvet. I love the packaging too. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get into the...